So this is a very beautiful story. Mahaprabhu, this Chaitanya Chari Tamrita. Mahaprabhu is dancing in Rath Yatra in Ras Leela Bhav. So of course it's a long story and uh, I'm not going to make it short. <laughs> As they say, to make a long story short. I actually, in my case, I suppose we'd like to say, or in our case, we are making a long story even longer. <laughs> so that usually people want, hey, come on, get to the bottom, get to the bottom line, Swamiji. Let, what's the bottom line? Okay, he danced Rath Yatra and Jagannath did this and he did that, and then what happened? What's the bottom line? Why are you dragging it out and your descriptions of Udipan Vibhav and the Anubhavas and uh, what is. Come on, just get to the point. We don't have time. Look, it's, you know, it's a fast life. Get in the fast lane, will you? So Radhakun and Kartik is the slow lane. Very, very slow. Dere, dere pat. Dere, dere pat. Very slow. So this is, uh, we're hearing descriptions. Yesterday we heard that, okay, Rathyatra means Jagannath. And Rathyatra means a cart. That we know. Well, so far, Rathya, he's in the cart. <laughs> Jagannath is in the cart and he's relishing the beauty on both sides of the cart because both sides of the cart are covered with sandy beaches and, and beautiful gardens which remind Jagannath, Rajendra Nandan, Krishna, they remind him of Brajadam, Jamuna Pulina, and which means the Rasastali of Radha and Krishna. He's Krishna. So that's called Viva Udipan. The Alamban here, the Prem Vishaya Alamban, is Jagannath Sri Krishna. And the Prem Vi, um, Ashai, the, the reservoir, one who's been the offering of love to Jagannath is Mahaprabhu and Radhabhav, Radharani. So this, uh, in a very expert and poetic way, the um, director, the director of the movie, or the director of the Leela drama, the divine play of Goranga and Jagannath, um, Kavi Karnapur, um, excuse me, Krishna's Kaviraj Goswami is setting the scene. That Udipan means the, the excitance, the scene, the setting to create the stimulus and to create that scenery in our mind's eye and heart's eye so we can understand where where we are and, and what well, what is Jagannath seeing and what is he feeling when Jagannath sees all this and either he's on his royal chart, uh, cart chariot very tall as Mount Sumeru and golden canopy and hundreds of chamars and bells ringing and it's like, like Kunta personified and he has this beautiful royal crown he's not wearing Tulsi Mala <clears throat> because in the evening he's in his Shrinkar Bara Bara Shrinkar Vesh Bara Shrinkar Vesh is what he dresses up at 11 o'clock at night in Anisha Lila when he's going for Ras you know Jagannath and, and then the Devadasis come or they used to they come and they would dance the Gita Govinda and the musicians would play the, the songs of Gita Govinda, all right? So the, uh, that dress at night, <clears throat> that's the, it's just, his crown is made of flowers and Tulsi Mala. And he's wearing on his shoulders, he's not wearing oh, just so much fancy silk outfit and a big, big crown he's wearing when he comes out for Rathyatra. He's wearing on his shoulders, he's wearing a, a yellow, a yellow chudder, which is the color of Radharani, Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi. And on that shutter are all the shlokas of Gita Govinda. Shrita Kamala, what's it? Gucha Mandala He, Gucha Mandala He. So he said, this is written on, <laughs> so all, all this in Sambhog Milan and Viraha Lila, it's all written on the shutter when he goes out to the Ras Lila. He's not wearing that when he goes out for Rath Yatra, because this is Purvan Lila. I'd say not Purvan Lila, comes out of the same thing, it's Madhyan Lila. It's in the afternoon. It's from 11.36 in the morning till around 3.36 sunset is Rathiatra time. So now he's going for a ride. But then when he sees, oh, look at this beautiful sand. This is like the Yamuna. And this, and I feel, it says Shuka, it says Shukaman. It says Anandita-man. Dui parshvai deki chale Anandita-man. Anandita. Anandita-man. When he saw Dui Parshva, 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 Parshva Parsha means sides. Parsha rolls from this side to that side, two months. So on Dui Parsha, Parsha, when he saw on both sides, then he thought, Anandita, Anandita Man. Then he saw, Dui Dike Tota Sava, Nena Vrindavan. 
He saw on both sides these beautiful gardens, Bagicha, Tota, and he thought, oh, it's like Vrindavan. And these sandy, these sandy banks here on both sides of the, of the road, they're like Yamuna Pulina, which is the site of the Rast Lila dance. And then the wrestlers were pulling the cart, and sometimes the cart was moving slowly and fastly. So then we heard yesterday that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enters the scene. Because the Prem Vishaya, the Vibhav Alambana, Prem Vishaya has entered the scene, Jagannath. And the Udipan, the Vibhav Udipan, has been established by describing the setting and the scenery, which are stimulants and excitants for the Prem Vishaya, or the Alamban Jagannath Dev, or Sri Krishna, to get excited about Ras Lila and to get excited about going to Vrindavan because Gundicha and Sundarachala are nothing but Vrindavan and the gardens of Vrindavan. So now it's time for, it's, you could say, the hero has entered the stage, the hero. The hero is Jagannath, Prajendra Nanda Krishna. Now the heroine, in this case, is Goranga Mahaprabhu in Radhabhav. So now he's described, it. here comes the heroine, and he's described, by, he's associated by all his associates. And he's very lovingly decorating them all, the flower, garland, and chandan. And we discussed that point yesterday in relation to Tadati Pratigrinati Bhunte Bhojai Tejeva. And lovingly exchanging with devotees. Our love that we give to each other is the love that we give to Krishna. Whatever you do to the least of my creation, that you do unto me. Love me, love my dog. So if you don't love Krishna's dog, that means you don't love Krishna. <laughs> so every one of us are dogs of Krishna. So if we don't love each other, <laughs> then Krishna won't love us. Because, oh, you're not you're you're biting another dog. You're a dog, and you're biting another dog. No, you're all dogs. We are all dogs, and we should love each other. Love Krishna's dogs. Love each other, and then Krishna will love us and accept our love offering. So now, who are the other characters? Because in any movie or play, there's not only the hero and the heroine. There's also supporting actresses and actors. Yes. Okay. Paramananda Puriyara Bharati Brahmananda Srihase Chandanpana Badili An Badila Ananda. Paramananda Puri and Brahmananda Bharati were both personally given garlands and sandalwood pulp from the very hands of Mahaprabhu. This increased their transcendental pleasure. Advaita Acharya Ara Prabhu Nityananda Shri Hasta Sparshe Dunhar Haila Ananda. When Advaita Acharya Nityananda Prabhu felt the transcendental hand of Mahaprabhu, they were very pleased. Sri Hasta Sparsha. Sri Hasta Sparsha. Hasta means hot. Hot means ka, the hand. The hand of Sri. Sparsha means to touch. When they felt the touch of Sri, Advaita and Nityananda felt very happy. Advaita has a sucky form, and also in Madhuri Lila. Nityananda, of course, is Ananga Mandri. And uh, it escapes me now, but there are some Gaudiya Vaishnava Shastras, it's in my notes, they have the, uh, the sucky form of Advaita mentioned there. Well, on one level, you could say, in terms of Krishna Lila, the Sri Hasta that Lord Chaitanya is extending to apply sandalwood pulp to the face of Advaita and Nityananda is the hand of Sri Mati Radharani. And those faces of Advaita and Nityananda are actually the faces of Ananga Mandri and also this particular Saki or maybe Mandri, so maybe Sobhagya, I forget, Advaita. And of course they're very pleased and very happy. Kirtaniya Gane Dila Malya Chandan Sarup Srivas Vyahan Mukhyadui Chan Mahaprabhu gave garlands and sandalwood pulp to the performers of Sankirtan, the Kirtaniyas, Kirtaniya Gan. The two chief performers were Swarup Damodar and Shivas Thakur. Chari Sampradayi Chaya Chabisha Gayan Dui Dui Mardangika Haila Ashtajan. There were four parties of Kirtan performers comprising 24 chanters. In each party, there were also two Murdanga players making an additional eight persons. So this is the setting here. That's it. Now the uh, Udipan is expanding, the setting, the stage setting, all these 
additional players are coming out. The hero Jagannath on his chariot, and he's surrounded by all this, these musicians playing various instruments, and they're, about, they're going to dance and sing and chant, and they're all decorated very beautifully, wearing flower garlands and chandan on their forehead, a very attractive sight to see. It's like a, a hero, a king also is glorified by the beauty and the exaltation of his ministers. The king just walks in by himself, it's not so impressive. He walks in with all this royal regalia and, and this big crown, but then all his ministers walk in with beautiful turbans and silk jackets and, and sacred staffs, and it's a very impressive presentation. Now, Jagannath Swami is riding on his carpet, and he's surrounded by all these beautiful Vaishnavas dressed in and flower garlands and chandan, and very nice to see. And in one, on the higher level, thinking of this pastime in terms of Ras Lila, and Prabhupada said that the Sankirtan performance is in the mood of Ras Lila, then these male personalities, primarily Brahmins and some sannyasis, associating with and joining this festival of Jagannath's Rath to associate with Lord Chaitanya, they themselves have also corresponding female identities in Braj Lila as Sakis. And so in Braj Lila, when the Sakis gather around Radha and Krishna, what to speak of Radha and Krishna, but to perform the Ras Lila dance for the pleasure of the divine couple, then they also are adorned with flower garlands and chandan on their foreheads. So from one, one angle you can see when Jagannath is looking up off his cart, it's like Krishna look, gazing around the Ras Mandala. As a Krishna is looking around the Ras Mandal, he sees gardens in every direction, the Gishas, and he sees sandy banks, and then he looks around and sees all these gopis with garlands and chandan on their forehead. So in a similar way, Jagannath's on his cart, and he looks from side to side, and he feels blissful, I'm in Vrindavan, see these sandy banks and, and see all these beautiful gardens, and I'll see all these great, beautiful Vaishnavas dancing dancing, wearing flower garlands and chandan. It's very easy to see the, how the Audarya Leela take directly slides us, slides us right into the Madhurya Leela of Krishna, from Gaur Leela, in the mood of separation from Vrindavan. The Audarya manifests in, in magnanimity and, and kindness and just drags us from the Viraha Shetra of Puri and drags us and dumps us into the Madhurya Milan Stan. Madhuri Milan Stan of Sambhog Lila of Rast Lila Vrindavan. That's very nice. Like you're, you're, you imagine if you're there, you're, you're, an, you're an Aishvarya, there's a little bit Aishvarya mixed there and because of Dwarka idea, Dwarka energy there in the temple, Sri Mandir. There's some Aishvarya Madhuriya mix in Puri. The general mood for us is separation from Vrindavan and everything is a reminder of Vrindavan. So you can imagine you're there in the kirtan party and, and you're with Jagannath and, and it's, it's Puri and, and, all, and it's Lord Chaitanya's Leela, Audarya Leela. And then you close your eyes and all of a sudden, hey, wait a minute, this is the, there's the Yamuna. It's not, it's not the Bay of Bengal, it's the Yamuna. It's not the sandy beach sands, it's the Yamuna Pulina, the banks of the Yamuna. And this is the Yamuna River, not the ocean. And uh, these, these men are not men with Brahmins with garlands, these are gopis. And you, and you, and you open. And close, and then you see. Oh, this is this is not Jagannath riding a chariot. This is Krishna, and this is not Garanga Mahaprabhu. It's Radharani. <laughs> so then you're in Madhurya Lila, and then you blink your eyes again. Oh, that's gone. That sporty is gone. Now you're back. <laughs> it's like this. It can be like that. For some, it is like that. Tabe Maha Prabhu Mane Vichara Kariya Chari Sampradaya Dila Gayana Baliya Pantia Nitinanda Dwaita Hari Dasava Kreshwari Chari Jana Yaga Dila Nritya Kari Bhari Pratam Sampradaya Kaila Sarupa Pradhan Arapancha Jana Dila Tanapali Gan Damodara Narayana Data Govinda Raghava Panditara Shri Govinda Nanda Advaitere Nritya Kari Bhari Yaga Dila Shiva Sapradana Ara Sampradaya Kaila Ganga Dasa Hari Dasa Shiman Shubananda Shri Rama Panditahan Nache Nityananda Vasudeva Gopinatha Murari Yahangai 
Mukunda Pradhana Kaila Ara Sampradai, Sri Kanta Valvasena Ara Duijan, Haridasa Thakur Tan, Karina Nartan. It's a lot of names there. These are names of all the eternal associates of Lord Chaitanya, who all, most of them have Sakhi Gopi forms in Golokadam Vrindavan. Mahaprabhu, when the four parties were formed, Mahaprabhu divided the chanters. Mahaprabhu ordered Nityananda, Advaita, Haridas, and Vrakreshwar to dance in each of the four respective parties. So these were the lead dancers. Who were they? There was four parties. Who were the lead dancers? Nityananda, Advaita, Haridas, Vrakreshwar. Swarup Damodar was the leader of the first party. He was given five assistants to respond to his chanting. So every party has chanters and dancers. Apparently the dancers are so busy dancing they can't chant. It's very hard to chant and dance also. <laughs> Unless you're just go, put, doing the Swami step. Hare Krishna. If you're doing dancing like Tandara Nitya and the type of dancing that Lord Chaitanya associates were doing, one foot, six, foot in, six feet in the air, the other foot six feet in the air, and dancing, then it's a little difficult to chant also. And usually Murdanga players, they play the Murdanga, they don't chant. You know, because it's so difficult and all their energy has to go there. Usually the harmonium player or the cartel player, or there's no, it doesn't play anything, it just sings many times. So, and the five were responding to the lead singer, Srup Damodar singing, Damodar Pandit, Narayan Govinda Dutta, Raghava Pandit, and Govinda Nanda. Acharya Prabhu was ordered to dance in the first group. And there was another group with Shivas as the chief man. Five singers responded to the singing of Shivas Thakur. Gangadas, Haridas, Shiman, Shivananda, Sri Ram Pandit, and Sri Narayan, Sri Nityananda Prabhu was a dancer. Another group was formed of Vasudev, Gopinath, and Murari. And all these were responsive singers, and Makunda was the chief singer. Shrikant and Valvasain also joined as responsive singers. And the senior Haridas was chosen a dancer. And the Lord formed another group of Govinda Ghosh as the leader, and the younger Haridas, which means the Chota Haridas, Vishnudas and Raghav were responsive singers. And two brothers, Madhava Ghosh and Vasudev Ghosh, joined in this group as responsive singers. Rakesha Pandit was the dancer. Kulina Gramera Eka Kirtaniya Samaj, Tahanrti Karina Ramananda Satiraj. There was a village named Kulina Gram, and there was a Samaj, the Sankirtan party, Kirtaniya Samaj. They, uh, the responsive the dancers were Ramananda and Satiraj. One thing here we can see from this description, all these beautiful Nityapari shouts the Lord, is that Lord Chaitanya organized his program. <laughs> It wasn't just any, anybody doing anything in the name of Sankirtan. <laughs> anybody doing anything and everything and enacting their own fantasies in the course of the Sankirtan. <laughs> there was actual some coordination. You da you, you're the dancer, you're the singer, you're the cartel player. <laughs> in other words, you're a good dancer, you dance. You're a good singer, you sing. You're a good cartel player. You, not that anybody grabs a cartel. Tang dong, ting dong, ting dong. There's somebody grabs from a jungle, pum pa, pum pa, pum pa. <laughs> it was very beautiful and very orchestrated and very integrated and, and wonderful presentation. And of course, all these are Nitya Parishad, so they were expert in all these arts. And we're kind of a rinky dink, rinky dink, you know, ragtag, rinky dink, ragtag, motley group of kirtaniers. <laughs> Rinky dink motley group of um, I would say motley group of kirtaniers uh, from uh, assorted <laughs> backgrounds, and somehow most of us don't know anything about music, and uh, we never will. <laughs> but, but we assemble together and try to glorify the Lord with song, dance, and music. So. It's quite an interesting presentation when it all piles together. <laughs> it's an example of the blind musician leading the blind musicians. <laughs> but here, these, all these personalities were the greatest dancers in creation. They're all gopis also. And they all know the 64 kalas. And they're all the greatest singers and the greatest, most virtuoso 
sung it with Sharad, sung, you know, Benares University graduates of Sangeet Visharad, <laughs> topmost honors in music from Benares Music School University. And they're assembled together under the leadership of none other than Radharani. Gandharvika Radharani Ki Jai. So Gandharvika Radha, she certainly smells very wonderful. That's why she's Gandharvika. But she dances and sings like, the, like millions and millions of Gandharvas could never even imagine. That's how wonderful she dances and sings. So this is uh, some introduction to the, the plot thickens now. There's more participants in the, in the movie or in the drama. So more members means more rasa and more ecstasy for the Lord and his devotees. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki.